Well, this question is about um, Dobrainer's triads. This is the first section, section A, uh, you just need the um, knowledge about group one metals reacting in water. So it asks you to give two ways that the products of the reaction of lithium, sodium and potassium with water are similar. So for this, you need to be able to recall the products of lithium, sodium and potassium with water. And we know that they all produce hydrogen gas and they produce a hydroxide of some description. You can get away with being more general than that and saying an alkaline solution or an alkali for the second mark. For part B, it asks you to look at the information about some possible triads and it asks you which doesn't fit. Um, so we've got four potential triads here. If we look at them on the periodic table, we can see that four of the, the four of triads here have been highlighted. Three of those triads um, run down the group, so run vertically down columns, whereas one of them runs across one of the periods, so across a row. That's all you had to point out for um, the answer. So if we look at the mark scheme here, it says you need to pick triad D. So just look back at which one triad D was. So carbon, nitrogen and oxygen. And the reasoning, because they're all in the same period or across the row. Um, you could say that they're in different groups, but to be able to get the mark, you have to specify um, at least two of those groups. So just saying they're all in different groups wasn't enough to get you the mark. You had to specify which groups they were in. And section C, you're given information about uh, three triads and it asks you about peer review basically. So for C part one, what two things would Dobrainer expect other um, scientists to do? Well, general peer review things. So we're looking at checking the results from the experiment. So repeat the work and check the results. Um, check the calculations that he's done. Um, see if they agree or disagree. Uh, they can test future predictions, see if there's any other triads that follow the same pattern, those kinds of ideas. So you only had to get two points out of the options that are available here. Then the last part asks you um, why silver doesn't fit Dobrainer's triads. Okay, so if we look at what's happening then, so we have to get the average of the top and the bottom masses, so the average of copper and gold, and that should, if it fits Dobrainer's triads, be fairly close to 108, the um, mass of silver. So let's have a look at that calculation then. Okay, so if we do the average mass of the copper and gold, 63.5 and 197, divide that by 2 and get 130.25. So you can see quite clearly that 108 is nowhere near 130.25. Now a lot of you did this calculation here and then didn't go on to say that 108 is not um, 130.25 or that they're not close. Um, some of you worked out the mass of all three at that point to get about 120 so you added these three up and divided by three that's not the rules of the triads um, so you wouldn't get the mark for that either